What's up? This is Ray. Welcome back. Hey, check this out. Today we're going to be reviewing something I thought I would never do on the channel. This is not camera gear. This is an appliance. This is a portable washing machine. Um, so if you follow my channel for photography, you may either want to skip this video, but if you live in an apartment or something, you actually may want to watch it. It may benefit you. This is a Della portable washing machine. And what's significant about it is um, it's something that's light, small enough to fit and work in an apartment. It's configured to work in an apartment setting where you don't have hookups for that. Um, it's very affordable and I wish I had known about it a long time ago. So if you're researching this, um, trying to find something that can help you do your laundry more conveniently when you want, <laughs> actually anytime you want, uh, stick around. I'm going to show you everything I learned about this the pros and cons and how to use it uh, to the best of its ability. So if you're curious, stick around. I'm going to get right into it. All right, so let me tell you the specs of this washer. One good thing about it, it uses a standard household plug. It doesn't use um, the larger, more powerful electrical jacks that you would for an industrial type washer. Um, the wash section, the tub is about 19 inches deep and this is, is one of the biggest ones I've seen available. There are smaller ones. Um, the spinner side is about 14 inches deep, but it is not as big as the washer. It's about one third the size. So what that means is if you do a full load here, you'll probably, oops, <laughs> you'll probably have to break that full load up into three uh, sections and spin them separately. But uh, we'll go more into that later. Um, so you'll know whether this will fit in your space. From the handle to handle is about 30 inches wide and to the top here it's about 34 inches tall and it's um it's it's very light ah see that even a woman should be able to pick it up so um there's more to it actually <clears throat> what it comes with the way you attach the water to it this is a hose that it comes with you attach the hose to the back there's two sections there's one where you attach to refill the washing section and you can also spray water into the, the spin section while it's spinning the clothes dry if you need more rinse. But I, I've never had to do that so far. One thing I don't like about this tube that comes with it is kind of, it's plasticky and flimsy. And um, I, I just don't know it's gonna last as long as the washer will. It's, um, we'll see though. One thing I don't like about this hose is when you put it onto the sink spigot, if you turn the pressure up too high, it can pop off. Um, it's only held on by friction. But um, that only happens when you turn, like, <laughs> turn it up really high. So that's not a huge problem. Next thing you want to see is this is the drain hose. It could be longer, in my opinion, but let me show you how this works. The drain hose has this, this U-shaped attachment here where you can, you can put it on the edge of your sink. I, I usually put it on the edge of my toilet. Uh, <laughs> what I don't like is there's no way to clamp it on. There's no adjustment to it. So when you put it on, um, sometimes I wonder if, if you hit it, could it fall out while it's pumping and it can make a mess. Um, there is an adjustment on here where you can make the hose longer. That way it'll stay better in wherever you put it. Um, there's one important um, feature this particular Della has that a lot of other washers don't. It has a pump um, and what that means is when you're ready to let out the dirty water, you turn it to drain and you'll hear the pump start and it pumps the water all the way up the hose into the sink or wherever you need it. And the reason that's important um, is a lot of these washers don't have that pump and they're just gravity drained. So what that means is you have to elevate the washer higher than the tube so that the water can run out. And in a lot of circumstances, um, that's not convenient. And what some people will do because of that is they'll put those washers in their shower or in their bathtub when they're doing laundry so that it can drain out easier. But uh, I prefer having the pump because you can do it in your kitchen, your bathroom sink or, or the toilet or wherever. Um, that's the main reason I got this particular washer. Okay, so here's the controls. This first knob is the wash cycle. There's a gentle, a normal, and a drain. Um, the middle knob is what controls the timer, the wash timer. 
um, it goes up to 15 minutes. Um, and of course, if you have dirtier clothes, uh, you'll make it longer. But what I notice about this wash, what I'm very impressed with, is it's very powerful in how it spins the clothes. And especially the fact that it alternates left and right. Um, it's really uh, doing a lot as far as washing the clothes, more than you would expect from something like this that's low powered. Um, this final knob on the right is for the spinner. And when you turn it, it goes up to five minutes and it starts to spin. One thing that's important to know is like any dryer, you want to make sure the clothes are balanced. But what's really cool about this is it spins so fast. You can hear the water flying out. Um, and although the timer goes up to five minutes, I found that in a little over two minutes, there's really no more water to come out. So there's like no advantage to making it longer than three minutes. Um, you're not going to get it, the clothes any drier. But uh, what's really cool is when you take the clothes out, they're so, they're so almost dry that you can really hang them up. And uh, if you wake up the next morning, some of them will actually already be dry enough to wear. Okay, so this is my setup. The power cord will not reach um, my outlet. So I attach this um, extension, as you can see here. And this is how we attach the water hose. I'm trying to look through the camera. <laughs> and do that at the same time. Now this, ex this hose, the water hose, actually won't reach to the back where the inlet is. So what I do, in this case, I just run it straight in there. Cut the water on. That's how I fill it. All right, so as far as the drain pump, I just attach it to the edge of my toilet like this. Simple as that. All right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn on the faucet. Starting to fill. <laughs> what just happened is I turned the faucet on too high. And this slipped right off. That's a perfect, I'm glad it happened while you were watching so you could see what could happen. Let me put it back on again, turn it on not as high. So you don't need a whole lot of soap. The point of it is if you add too much soap, It'll, be, it'll take more to rinse out, of course. So what I'm gonna do now is turn the washer on so you can see how it agitates without closing it. It turns in one direction, pauses, and then it turns in the opposite direction. I'm gonna start putting some clothes in now. T-shirt, dress shirt, unmentionables. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, and a towel. I'm actually gonna. Oops. I'm actually turning the water off now because I don't have any more clothes in this. Uh, so that's really enough. And you can see it's super strong. Um, the motor that runs under here runs on a belt. Uh, so fortunately, that means it's. Um, it's gonna be more heavy duty instead of a direct drive. And these clothes weren't very dirty. They were more sweaty. That's why you don't see that there's not a lot of dirt in the water right now. So right now I have the timer set to about six minutes. Um, it's totally up to you how long you wanna set it. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna let that run and walk away. I'll come back when it's done. All right, so I'm going to show you the difference between the normal cycle and the gentle cycle. Watch how long it pauses in between the normal cycle. One, two, three. About three second pause in the normal. Watch when I switch it to gentle. One, two, three. Four, five. It's a slightly longer pause, but other than that, the speed is the same. Uh, for normal and gentle cycles. Okay, so here's the deal. Your clothes are done washing. Now it's time to rinse. But before I do that, I'm going to turn the drain on. And hopefully you can see it. The clothes weren't very dirty. I really didn't have to do laundry, but that's the point of putting it right by the toilet. And I always rest the toilet seat right on top of it, just so it doesn't 
doesn't fall out. So while that drains the soapy water out, we're going to put the clothes in the spinner because we want to spin this soapy water out before we rinse it. They recommend putting the heaviest items on the bottom. I don't like filling it up because sometimes if you fill it up too much, um, it gets top heavy. Very important that you put this plate on top. I found that when I don't put the plate on top, the clothes for some reason rise up and it gets unbalanced. So I'm gonna close it. And you can see the water is almost, almost out. Now we're gonna turn the, actually, I'm gonna turn off the drain because I want you to hear I want you to hear how the spinner sounds when you turn it on. I'm going to set it to, for example, two minutes. Pay attention to how fast it goes. You can hear it flashing out the water. and. You actually will never have to put it to five minutes because one thing I notice is after at least less than two minutes, most of the water that's going to be out is already gone. Uh, and it's not going to get any drier by making it spin longer. All right, I don't hear any more water coming out and it's not even done yet. So when you open the door, there's a brake on the motor that stops the motor. Um, it's a safety feature and it's a good one. So let's take this out. Let's take out this dress shirt. I don't know if you could, the camera will show it, but there's certain parts of the shirt that is drier than others. Um, and it really shows how much water is flung out of it. So if, the only disadvantage to this is when you take the clothes out, they're gonna be wrinkled. If you take it out of a traditional dryer, they're gonna be hot. Um, you should be able to hang them up without getting these wrinkles. So that is one major downside to using this type of washer, this type of dryer, I should say is um, you're either going to have to iron it or what my wife does sometimes she'll take it to a dryer and put it in for maybe 15 minutes to dry everything really quick. Yeah so this is the part that makes you realize the machine is not automatic and it's not as convenient as a standard washer. After we spun out the soapy clothes we have to put everything back in the washer to run a rinse cycle. So really you can't just start this machine and walk away and come back when the clothes are done. It's something you got to do when you're when you're here, when you're home, and you're going to be able to do all of these steps. So I'll just let this fill up and come back. All right, so that's about enough rinse water. Let's cut it on. And as you can see, the water's not very dirty at all, so I really don't have to rinse it that long. And this part's kind of boring, so I don't want to waste your time <laughs> too much to see this. So when this is done, we'll just throw it in the spinner and keep going. All right, so that's about all the rinse we need. We'll turn that off. Um, so now we're just going to put it in the spinner, just like before. Not going to overload it. Put the top on, press it down. I'm going to turn this drain on again while I'm here, so I can begin draining this while we spin. Let's see if it's unbalanced. It's perfectly balanced. I love the way it sounds when it's perfectly balanced and spinning really fast. <laughs> Actually, for the sake of science, I want to show you what this looks like when it's unbalanced, when the clothes are on level. Let's turn it on. Listen. What I like about this machine is if it feels that it's unbalanced, it won't spin up to a higher speed. It'll stay at that low speed, letting you know that uh, you need to shift it around and that way it doesn't damage itself. All right, this is the final spin dry. Let's see how, how it did. I spun him for about a little less than three minutes. Yeah, the interesting thing is there's certain parts of the shirt that are actually already dry. That's probably the part that was on the outer rim. So yeah, this won't take long. And when I'm done, I just put that back in there, put the hose back in here, and I, I leave it open to air dry for like 24 hours till the next time. 
Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. You're probably wondering what is this on the top. It comes with this saran wrap thing on top, on both. I just, I just haven't taken them off because I, I guess it'll protect it from scratches in the meantime. Uh, one day I will take it off, but normally, of course, as you see, it's a, a nice smooth blue cover. I like that it's see-through also. That way you can see what's going on. All right, so that is my overview of the Della portable washer. As you can see, it's legit. It does exactly as it's advertised. Um, I really wish I had something like this years ago. I spent so much time in laundromats, but let's keep it real though. This is 2018. A lot of people are doing well. If you're in America, you got your nice house with your hookups in the garage, this type of washer you don't need. You don't even need to watch this video. But if you're someone who lives in an apartment, a dorm, um, trailer park, uh, ghetto, <laughs> anything, if you don't have a lot of money, um, something like this could really come in handy. It could save you um, time and money. And that's one thing I, I always like to think about the people in society that society doesn't care about or think about people who don't have that much that's the reason I started this channel so um, hopefully this video can help someone out there uh, looking for a portable washer but uh, I'm not a appliance reviewer there's probably a lot of tech things that I left out that I forgot should have talked about and didn't so if that's the case I'll uh, leave a question below and I'll answer it to the best of my ability second most important thing is um, I don't know how reliable these are I've only had it about a month so when I bought it, I bought an extended warranty on Amazon. It's um, $15 from a company called Assurant. It's a three year warranty, but it doesn't kick in until one year after you purchase the, the appliance. So um, I, I don't know how long it's gonna operate well. So that's, that's something I guess I could do a follow up video on. But um, hey, thanks for watching. And keep in mind, no matter what washer you use to wash your clothes, <laughs> I never thought I would say that. Until next time, as always, keep it real.